Hi, this is Daniela from SD1 Tag Team. Today, I want to explain how to upgrade CH devices from the vManage GUI. Make sure to meet the SD1 controller compatibility matrix. First, open the software download Cisco page. Go to Routers, Software Defined 1, XE SD1 Routers and select the model of your preference. In this case, the choice is Catalyst 8000VH. Note that after software release 17.2.1R, select Cisco iOS XE software. If the version is earlier, please select Cisco iOS XE SD1 software. Look for the desired version you want to install. For this case, click on the Copertino 17.7.1a. Then, download the image for the desired hardware model. You see the .bin file download task. Once finished, you can find the file in your PC downloads directory. Now, we need to upload it into the vManage software repository. To do so, navigate to vManage Maintenance Software Repository. Then select Software Images at the top menu and click Add New Software followed by vManage. We click Browse and select the desired image to upload into the repository and click Upload. Once uploaded, we see the image on the software repository. To start the upgrade from the vManage GUI, navigate to vManage Maintenance Software Upgrade section. Then, search for the CH device to upgrade and click the checkbox next to the device and click the upgrade option. A new window appears where we select the target release version from the list available in the drop down menu. If the activate and reboot checkbox option is checked, vManage starts the upgrade process and the router is rebooted and upgraded. If the Activate and Reboot checkbox option is unchecked, vManage only transfers the image into the CH router. This can be useful if the plan is to complete the upgrade activity later during the maintenance window. After the options have been selected, click the Upgrade button. Once the upgrade process is complete, a success green status is shown in vManage. The router image is now installed and activated. Now, to complete the last action, navigate back to vManage Maintenance Software Upgrade. Select your CH router and then click Set Default Version and select the version from the drop-down list, click Set Default. And the upgrade has been completed. Thank you for the time you took to watch this video.